Hello everyone, welcome to tonight's girls varsity basketball matchup here at the Coliseum at Lake Orion High School. We got the Lake Orion Dragons going up against the Birmingham Groves Falcons. The last time the Groves Falcons have beat the Lake Orion Dragons in varsity girls basketball was 2017, so this is a big game for the Falcons. Lake Orion coming off a win last night against Flushing here at Lake Orion. So this is a big game for them as well to continue their winning streak from last night. Charlie, what do you think so far about this game? You know, I don't know much about Groves. All I know is that uh, even though their record doesn't show it, they've got grit. That's what I've heard about them. And Lake Orion, you know, we've seen them play multiple times. You know, they got a they got a 9-2 record coming off of a big win. It's going to be a good game, t -Rat. It's going to be a good game. Absolutely. The Groves with their 3-8 and eight record coming into tonight and trying to look for another win. Groves has one away win this season, so try to add another one onto their record tonight as well for that. And tonight for the starters for Lake Orion, you have number 12, Chloe Wiegers, number 20, Maddie Ebert, number 24, Taylor Dinda, number 34, Kylie Heck, and number 40, Ryan Palachik. And then for the Falcons, you have number 3, Kirsten Jansinski, number 11, Caitlin Sanders, number 20, Cirque Sierra Racco, number 23, Cameron Little, number 24, Lily Gaher. Tip off here momentarily. Uyghurs starts off with the ball with for the Dragons. Uyghurs to Dinda. Dinda to Hack for three. And it's no good. Sanders taking the ball up now for Groves. And it's stolen almost by Dinda, but it's gotten back by Groves. Uyghurs gets the ball. She takes it up for Lake Orion. Uyghurs to the hole. Layup no good. Sanders now with the ball for Groves. Passes it to number 20, Sierra Rocco. Sanders picks up her dribble. The pass it to number 24, Galher, as it's stolen now by Ebert to Palachik. Palachik to the hole. And and one for the Dragons as it's good. For number 41, Ryan Palachik for the Dragons' first bucket tonight. She'll have one free throw at the line. Remind me, Tira, is uh, Ryan a junior or a sophomore? She is a junior. It's one of our younger players, isn't mind wrong? Yeah, she's been on varsity now for two years. Varsity is a sophomore as well. Very talented player. So free throw is good for Palachik. Sanders now, the ball up. The multiple three-pointers in their last game against Riverview. Stolen almost by Ebert. Groves remains with the ball. Rocco passes it back to Sanders. Sanders to Jensinski. The shot is no good as Dinda takes it up the court now for the Dragons. Trying to look for a double team now with Groves as Uyghurs has the ball and passes it back to Dinda. Down to one knee is Dinda. Pack in the corner. Kicks it to Palachik. Pass is incomplete to Palachik, so it will be Groves' ball at the baseline. Defense on both teams are insane. Now. Absolutely. Both teams playing very hard. This Groves team is a very defensive team. It's a very older team, too. They have multiple juniors and seniors on their team, as well as one freshman. And it's, you know, it's very similar now for the Dragons with multiple seniors. Now for the Dragons, I believe. Nine seniors for the Dragons, which is a huge senior class. It'll be a double dribble called now on Groves. Number three, Kirsten Jansinski. Maddie Ebert bring the ball up now for the Dragons. Dinda passes to Heck. Heck with a crossover. She passes it to Palachik in the middle. Palachik to Ebert for three, and it's no good. Here we got a toggle for the ball there, but referee signals jump ball. It'll be Groves basketball going the other way at the baseline. K 
Cameron Little passes it to Rocco. But the pass is stolen by Maddie Ebert, a tremendous defensive player for the Dragons. Ebert to the hole, and it's good. No fear from Ebert. He goes right up there. Absolutely, no fear. Sanders kicking it to Jasinski. Sanders back again with the ball. Rocco in the corner. It'll be a jump ball again. Dragons fired up. They'll be getting that jump ball there. Big news now for Maddie Ebert, the point guard bringing the ball up just today. Announced she will be playing college ball at Baldwin Wallace University. Some big news for Maddie. Shot by Dinda is no good. It'll be Falcons ball going the other way. Rocco taking the ball up the court. Passes it to Little, but the pass is incomplete as it's stolen by Chloe Wieger as she goes for the layup, and it's good for the Dragons. Again with that defense, Ty. It's, they're, not, they're not an easy team to you know, get that ball from. Or to, you know. It'll be a timeout now for Birmingham Groves. Thanks to Orient Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting, you can watch LOHS Sports Live online all year. It costs less than $11 per month to watch sporting events, and half of that money goes back to the LOHS program. Be sure to designate Lake Orion High School when you set up your account. Get started at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. ON TV thanks you for, thanks our students crew for their hard work and dedication in bringing Dragon Sports to the world. Thanks, Charlie. Sanders now with the ball for Groves. Now Little shoots a three and it's no good. It's rebounded by the Dragons, but I believe it went off Uyghur's foot. And yes it is, it'll be Groves' ball. Little passes it to Rocco. Good defense there by the Dragons as they deflect the ball. And it'll be Groves basketball still. Number 24, Galher now with the ball. She passes it back to Sanders. Sanders guarded by Heck. Weegers tries to steal it, but it is stolen still by number 34, Kylie Heck. Denda tries to pass it to Palachik, but it's stolen by Sanders. Sanders goes in for the layup, but it's no good. Sanders gets the rebound, she puts it back up, no good again. Palachik now passes it to Heck. Ebert passes it back to Heck. Uyghurs to Dinda for three, and it's no good. It'll be over the backboard there, as it will be Groves basketball. Groves making some substitutions there. Sanders now, gonna kick it back to Rocco. Sanders, very big player for Groves. Multiple three-pointers last week, as I said earlier. Number 10, Taryn Brown kicks it back to Rocco. Rocco for three, and it's no good. Uyghur is gonna push the ball now. She moves like a race car down the court. She passes it back to Palachik as Palachik gets set to the floor, and there will be a foul and two shots now for the Dragons. Until 24 wasn't, wasn't, up, wasn't putting up there. Oh, absolutely. That was, Groves had like a Bill Beer Detroit Bad Boys foul right there. She sent her to the floor there pretty hard. First free throw for Palachik is good. Number 23, Audrey Wishmeyer checked in now for the Dragons. Audrey Wishmeyer checking in for the Dragons. Plachik leading the team in points tonight. Shot good by Plachik. 
Number 25, Jody McCaffrey checked in now for number 41, Ryan Palachik for the Dragons. Cameron Little, for correction, Talise Alexander will pass the ball in to Rocco for Groves Falcons. Sanders now in and out, step back for three, and it's good. What a shot. Caitlin Sanders for the Falcons. Their first point for the night. Ebert, be patient, looking for the opportunity to strike. She crosses the ball over, goes to the hole, in trouble. Heck, for three, shot fake goes to the free throw line and takes a mid-range jumper, but it's no good. McCaffrey fighting for a jump ball in there. It'll be Grove's ball. Number 23, Cameron Little, checked back in for the Falcons. Little with the ball, passes it back to Alexander. Alexander in trouble, looks like, as the Dragons press back to Little. And it's stolen by Maddie Eber as she goes the other way. And another foul there by number 24, Lily Gallagher for Groves. Maddie Eber will have two shots. They should be scared. Maddie Everett's a good shooter. Absolutely. She had nine points last night. Ten points correction against Flushing as well as Taylor Dindo with nine points. First shot for Maddie, and it's good. Number 33, Charlotte Peplowski checked in for the Dragons. The sophomore will come in. Always impressive to see underclassmen on varsity. One of our underclassmen are hurt, is he? She was injured a few games ago. Yes. Sanders now kicks it, but the pass is almost incomplete. Passes it back to number 22. Can't. Ella Bank. But Ella will be Dragon Ball for the jump ball. It'll be. Audrey Wishmeyer passing the ball in to Ebert. Maddie Ebert, floor general there for the Dragons. Kicks it to McCaffrey in the middle. McCaffrey makes an incomplete pass as Groves intercepts it. Sanders going to take the ball off the court. Gives Wishmeyer a fake. Be patient here. Score 11 to 3, Lake Orion in the lead. There's a screen now. And she kicks it back, number 10. Taryn Brown passes it back. Sanders for three, and it's no good. Got a foul now on the floor. The foul will be on Groves as Lake Orion will get the ball. Maddie Ebert. Taking the ball up the court. Lake Orion looking good tonight. With a decent lead here over Groves early. McCaffrey with the ball in the middle, but the shot is blocked by number 11, Caitlin Sanders. She passes it to Rocco for a layup. And Rocco is fouled. And she will have two shots as she is fouled on her layup. Foul is on number 24, Taylor Dinda for the Dragons. She'll have two shots. Shot is no good. I think you were saying earlier, earlier T-Rat, I think Groves might have the age advantage to Ello. Ello's got a few youngsters on the court. Yeah, that is true. Absolutely. The shot is good there, so now give the Groves Falcons one more point. Wishmeyer with the ball in the corner. She kicks it back to Dinda. Dinda to Poplowski. Dinda in the middle. She kicks it to Ebert. Ebert to Wishmeyer for three. And it's no good. Sanders now kicks it to Brown. Brown back. Blank, blank back to Sanders. 
Sanders looking like she's trying to set up something here. She crosses over, back to her left. And it's stolen by Everett once again. Everett taking the ball down the court. She passes it to McCaffrey, and the shot is no good for Jody McCaffrey. Sanders now for the breakaway layup, and it's good. Wishmeyer passing it back to Ebert. Ebert to Denda for three, and it's good for three for number 24, Taylor Denda. Rocco now through the legs. Taking the ball, she's pressed by Poplowski. Denda for the layup, and it's no good. Good defense there. Number 10, Taryn Brown, and that is the end of the first quarter. Score 14 to six. Now, we will take it down to our sideline reporter, Ryan Bunn. Thanks, guys. I spoke to Birmingham Groves head coach, uh, Allison Heidi, before the game on what her team can do to come back after losing back-to-back -back games. She said that they need to protect the ball, play aggressive defense, and finish at the basket. They haven't done too well in aggressively defending so far or really keeping possession. So we'll see if they can pick that up throughout the rest of the game. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Yeah, Grove struggling a little bit here early to get some points off. Lake Orion a very good team, as you've said. Lake Orion is undefeated at home this year, so a very hard team to be at home this year. Lake Orion's most recent loss to Detroit Renaissance. And then also their loss at Little Caesars Arena in the overtime loss to Rochester. Lake Orion been playing very good basketball this season. As Coach Bob Bridges said, he's very confident in the team this year. As they have nine seniors who have been playing together, he says, since he can't remember. He's had Kylie Heck, senior right now, who's been on varsity since she was a freshman. And we'll start off the second quarter. Uyghurs will have the ball for the Dragons. Uyghurs kicks it to Wishmeyer. Wishmeyer to Heck. Heck kicks it to Uyghurs. Uyghurs gonna go into the key as she passes it back to Poplowski. Poplowski gonna attack the middle as she kicks it to Uyghurs. Uyghurs with a shot fake as she kicks it to Heck. Heck to Wishmeyer, crosses it over. Goes to the middle, she passes it back to Heck with a shot fake. She goes to the middle, scoop shot, and it's good. Two points for number 34, Kylie Heck. Sanders now to Rocco. Rocco gonna attack. She picks up her dribble, kicks it back to Jansinski. She takes a shot and it's no good. Poplowski with the rebound, she passes it to Uyghurs. Uyghurs to Wishmeyer for three, and that shot misses. And it will be Grove's ball going the other way. Rocco and Sanders, two very key players, as we see here now for Groves. Jensinski passes it to Rocco. And that'll be an and one call as the basket is made with a foul for Groves. Foul is on number 41, Ryan Plotchick for the Dragons. That'll be our first foul tonight. Rocco. The free throw and it's good. Pushing the score to 16 to nine. Dragons in the lead still. Uyghurs and the ball up. She kicks it to Poplowski. Dangerous pass there as it almost goes out of bounds, but Poplowski recovers. Polacic to Wishmeyer. Wishmeyer to Uyghurs in the middle. It's Poplowski for three as she shoots it. It goes off the rim and it's no good, but it is rebounded by number 12, Chloe Uyghurs, as she puts it in for the Dragons, two points. Rocco, crossover, she attacks the middle, defended by Wishmeyer. Rocco passes it to Blank. Blank to Brown. Number 10, Taryn Brown with her first points tonight, as she hits a mid-range jumper for Groves. Uyghurs, the bounce pass to Palachik. 
Hotchik hands it off to Uyghurs as Heck gets the ball back up at the top of the three-point line as she attacks for the layup, and it's no good for 34, Kylie Heck. And Groves makes an incomplete pass there as it'll be Lake Orion ball. Uyghurs gonna push as Groves runs a press. Uyghurs breaks it pretty easily as she gets fouled and goes in for a layup and makes it. So she not only will get the two points, but one free throw as well. Uyghurs now. Free throw is no good. The Goring the past couple games has been struggling at the line with free throws. Sanders now going to push it to the middle, but cuts back out. And the ball is out of bounds, but the referee says it's off of number 11, Caitlin Sanders. But Sanders looks to be a bit frustrated about that call with the referee. Uyghurs now going to get something started here for the Dragons as they lead by nine. Popolski shot fake and a kick it to Heck as she's open for three. Kylie Heck, good as she drains it as it splashes through the net for three points for the Dragons. Sanders now gonna go right to the top of the three point line. She passes it back to Rocco. Rocco picking up her dribble as it's stolen by Polacic in the pass. Polacic gonna take it to the middle. She kicks it to Uyghurs. Uyghurs gonna go back out. With a smart move there by Chloe Uyghurs as she looked like she was a bit in trouble there. So she throws the ball off Groves, player off the defender. And it'll be Lake Orion ball. Dinda now checked in for the Dragons. And number 20, Maddie Ebert. Hack gonna attack, but the ball is poked out of her hand. But it's got back by the Dragons as Uyghurs crosses it over, pivots, kicks it to Hack. Heck gonna attack, kicks it to Dinda, shot fake, goes in the middle. Dinda, scoop shot, layup, and it's good for number 24, Taylor Dinda. Great all around player for the Dragons. Just like Dennis Rodman on defense, and like Carl Malone on offense. Dinsinski now holding the ball. She passes it back to Sanders as Sanders takes a shot. And she is fouled. Correction, no foul on the shot, but there is a foul on Groves. We have a push on the floor by Groves, number 32, Nevaeh Cochran McKay. It'll be Lake Orion ball as Maddie Ebert brings the ball up. Ebert kicks it to Uyghurs. As Rocco tries to get a steal as they're both tripped up. And the referee will call a push on number 20, Sierra Rocco for Groves. And Chloe Uyghurs now for the Dragons will be at the line for free throws. Shot is good for Chloe Uyghurs. She makes the one and one free throw and now we'll have one more free throw. Shot is no good. Number 32, Nevaeh Cochran McKay passes it now to Sanders. Caitlin Sanders crossing it over, trying to figure out what to do here. Passes it back to Sierra Rocco. Rocco back out for a mid range jumper, and it's no good. Ebert, the rebound, she takes the ball up, crosses it over, and passes it to Dinda. Dinda. She's double teamed and another foul now by number 20, 
Sierra Rocco. They're racking up the fouls here at Groves. Yeah, Ro uh, very aggressive defense now as we see from the Birmingham Groves Falcons here in the second quarter. As Dinda now will have one-on-one -on -one free throws. As the first shot is no good. It's rebounded by Groves. Number 11, Caitlin Sanders will take the ball up for the Falcons. Rocco now back to Sanders in the corner. Shot fake by Sanders. As it's off Sanders' foot, it'll be Dragon's ball. Great defense by both teams so far. As the Dragons lead 26 to 11. Everett now. Gonna take the ball up. She makes a crossover. Spins back to her right. Kicks it to Dinda for three. With Dinda with a shot fake. Kicking it to Heck for three. And it's good for number 34. Kylie Heck for three. Number 11, Caitlin Sanders. Now gonna pass it to number 32, Novea Cochran McKay, but the pass is intercepted by the Dragons. And now Chloe Weger goes, Chloe Weegers goes in for a breakaway layup. And the Dragons playing fast place ball here. Trying to make it very difficult for the Falcons to keep up. The score here, 31 is 31 to 11 with the Dragons in the lead, and there was a timeout called. You know, T-Rat, this is a high-scoring game for LO. Oh. Uh, we are trying to stock the shelves for the Oxford and Orient Fish Food Pantry. ONTV is celebrating their 13th annual food drive to support fish. It will be a five-day fun drive running from February 6th to the 10th. Our goal is $5,000. You can visit our website to donate at orionontv.org. Thanks, Charlie. But yeah, I completely agree. This is a very high-scoring game for the Dragons. The Dragons playing very fast. You see them playing a lot of fast break where they're like, we're going to come out and we're going to play tough defense. We're going to get steals on defense, and we're going to take it to the hole for easy layups. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. And Bob Bridges has said since the start of the season, I asked him immediate day, what is the biggest key for you guys winning games this year? And he says, we have to play our game, Dragon basketball. We gotta make good passes, we gotta make free throws, we gotta make shots. And the Dragons are doing that tonight. As you can see, they have a 20 point lead with two minutes about here in the second quarter. Grove's trying to pick it up here. As Sanders passes it to DeGrandle. DeGrandle tries to pass it to Sanders, but Jody McCaffrey intercepts it as she loses the ball, trying to go for a layup. It'll be Birmingham Grove's ball. Fontana Blackney checked in for the Dragons. For number 34, Kylie Heck. DeGrandle passes it to Sanders. Sanders trying to make a pass as it's almost intercepted by the Dragons. DeGrandle now passes it to Sanders. Sanders gonna attack, she takes a shot, and it's good for number two. For Caitlin Sanders. As Weegers goes in for a layup, and it's good for two for number 12, Chloe Weegers for the Dragons. Sanders now patiently taking the ball up the court, trying to let things develop for her offense. As As McCaffrey gets the ball, passing it to Uyghurs. Ebert for three, and it's no good. As Blackney rebounds it, kicks it back to Uyghurs. McCaffrey now kicking it to Ebert for three again. And she does says, nope, not a second time, not missing. That's three for Maddie Ebert. Sa Sanders now kicking the ball. Number 32, McKay, as the ball is stolen by Maddie Ebert as she kicks it to McCaffrey for a layup. 
And McCaffrey is fouled with 25 seconds left to go in the second quarter. And she will have two free throws. With the team's ninth foul tonight for Groves. A lot of fouls. Don't want to get in foul trouble here against this Lake Orion team. As McCaffrey takes the first free throw and it's missed. McCaffrey, second free throw. Good. As now we're 23. Cameron Little passes it to DeGrandel. Little now on the corner. Back to Rocco. Rocco gonna attack. She takes a three-pointer and it's no good off the backboard. Rocco gets the rebound as she shoots another mid-range shot and it's good for number 20, Sierra Rocco for the final shot of the first half. Score now at half, 37 to 15. Dragons in the lead. And we will go, as that's the end of the first half, to a commercial break. All right, yeah, we see here Lake Orion now playing good ball here, and we will take it down to our sideline reporter, Ryan Bunn. All right, thanks, guys. I'm on the court here with head coach Bob Bridges for Lake Orion. Coach, what did you see out of the first half? Well, we came out like we wanted to. Um, third game in four days. We said we want to come out, be intense on defense, and really run it on the f if we could. We've been pushing the ball before well. Ball's moving great. Uh, defense look good. Only give up 15 in the first half. Look for more of that in the second half. We want to continue to extend our lead. We don't want to settle. Um, Groves are still a good squad. they got a couple really good players, but we just got to keep playing our game. Thanks, Coach. We'll see you guys in the second half. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. I don't think anybody would care if I just stopped coming to school. None of the things that used to bring me joy bring me joy anymore. Sometimes I wish I could just disappear. I wish I had somebody just to talk to. My mental health matters. 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 Our mental health matters. As we start the third quarter, Groves now with the ball. Sanders getting played hard. Defense there by Kylie Heck. Number 23, Cameron Little makes a good two-pointer to start off the half for the Falcons. Palachik now in the middle. She steps through trying to go for a shot, but it is blocked by number 11, Caitlin Sanders for the Falcons. Chloe Wiegers passing into Palachik in the middle. Shot is missed by Palachik. She kicks it to Dinda. 
Dinda going to kick it back up to Uyghurs. Ebert passing in the middle to Heck. Heck to Palachik. Layup is no good by Ryan Palachik. Sanders now going to bring the ball up. She passes it to Little. Ball is stolen almost by Ebert. And it is stolen by number 34, Kylie Heck. Dinda now going to push the ball down the court. Ebert goes in the middle. Scoop shot layup. And it's no good. Almost rebounded there by Maddie. Little now going to push the ball down the court. Passes it to Sanders. Sanders to Little. Little going to hold the ball, pass it to Rocco. Rocco trying to make a pass to Sanders, but the pass is incomplete. Uyghurs now going to pass the ball in to Uyghurs now going to have the ball. Going to pick up her dribble and pass it back to Everett. Everett to Heck. Shot fake by Heck as she kicks it to Palachik, but the pass is incomplete and stolen by Groves. Sierra Rocco now, she struggles in the middle and loses the ball. Some scrapping for the ball down in the paint. And it will be Dragons basketball. 12, Chloe Uyghurs. Now, gonna give the ball to Ebert. As Ebert passes to Palachik. And the layup is good for the Dragons. Number 41, Ryan Palachik. Number 11, Caitlin Sanders. Step back, shot. And she drains it from mid-range. Number 11, Caitlin Sanders for the Falcons. Sanders now gonna press as she steals the ball back. Rocco tries to make a pass to Sanders in the middle, but is intercepted by Lake Orange number 20, Maddie Ebert. And now we will get a timeout from Lake Orion. Lake Orion calls a 30 second timeout. Did you know that ONTV has its very own internet radio station? You can create your own podcast or radio show or sign up to become a DJ. For more information on the radio station, give us a call at 248-393-1060. Thanks, Charlie. For the timeout, it'll be Dragon Ball. Ever going to speed right through the middle. Kick the Dinda. Gives a little jab step. She passes it back to Everett. Everett to Uyghurs. Uyghurs to Dinda in the middle, but the layup is no good. From a 24, Taylor Dinda. And then we've got Caitlin Sanders now going to push the ball through as she goes to the hole for the Falcons, and the layup is no good. Rebounded by Uyghurs, passes it full court to Everett, but the layup is no good as it's rebounded by Lake Orion. Heck, now for three, and it's no good. Falcons rebound it. Number 11, Caitlin Sanders now gonna heave it. Try to hit her teammate. Is number 24, Lily Gallagher takes a shot. And she is fouled, so she will get two free throws. Foul is on the Dragons, Taylor Dinda. Two shots now. For Gallagher. Shot is good. Second free throw, no good for Groves, but it is rebounded by number 11, Caitlin Sanders. Two points now for Groves. Groves is coming out much more aggressive this next half as they try to steal it again, and they do. Sanders goes in for another layup, and it's no good. As they try to save it, but doesn't work out, as Lake Orion still gets the ball. Uyghurs to Palachik, Palachik to Ebert for three, and it's good for the Dragons number 20, Maddie Ebert for three.
Sanders now going to fake the screen. She kicks it to number three. Jensinski. The shot is no good as the Dragons pick up the ball. And now Palachik back to Ebert. Ebert for the layup. Switches back to her left, and it's good for two. What an impressive shot there by Maddie Ebert. She's on fire tonight. Yeah, she's feeling it. Rocco now. Trying to feel, getting a groove here for Groves as she's pushed back by Dinda. And now Maddie Ebert trying to get a steal, but there's a jump ball call. And it, it will be, it'll be Groves. Dragons basketball correction. Tonight has just been punch after punch. You know, Le Lake Orion gives Groves a punch, Groves punches him right back. Absolutely. Lake Orion, this is a, I'd like to call them a heavyweight team for sure in the OAA red. Very hard division plan. Uyghurs now kicking it to McCaffrey. McCaffrey kicks it to Dinda. Dinda gonna take a few dribbles. She moves the ball, taking it to the middle. She goes for a layup and it's no good, but she is fouled, so she will have two shots at the line. Number 24, Taylor Dinda. For two shots. The first one is off the rim and no good. The Orion team has multiple all league players in Kylie Heck, Maddie Ebert, Chloe Wiegers, and Taylor Dinda. From last year, and that will be on the floor there, foul. And it'll be Groves' ball. Number two, J.C. Roy checked in for Groves. And the ball is stolen by number 20, Maddie Ebert. They're going trying to recover the ball there as they're scrapping for it on the floor, and they do. Uyghurs now trying to make a pass, but it's stolen again by Groves. Groves playing much more faster here in the second half. Preston playing hard. Sanders behind the back, turns her back to Heck. And now there will be a foul on the floor on the Dragons, number 34, Kylie Heck. Both teams are being very aggressive tonight. They're showing grit, which is good for, you know, Basketball, it's one of the key components. The oh yeah, the Groves is realizing like the, this like Orient team, they're no joke. We gotta put our best foot forward and I feel like this second half they've stepped it up a lot more. Number 10, Taryn Brown now kicking it back. It's JC Roy. Roy to DeGrandle. DeGrandle takes a shot, but they will call traveling on the Falcons, so it will be Lake Orion ball, but they continue to press the Dragons as the night goes on here in the second half. Wishmeyer now making a crossover. Back trying to attack. Everett now going to push the ball in the middle as she takes the shot, and she is fouled. And she gets two shots. Man, if I was the Dragons taking this many shots in the middle and just keep getting fouled after foul, you have to think. That's got to take a... It's going to take a, take a toll on you after a while after getting just bumped and bruised all night. But as we see, Maddie Ebert being tough and pushing through it. She takes her first shot. He's missed from Maddie Ebert. Looks, it looks like they're putting in the sophomore from Spain. Yes. Carmen. Number 44, Carmen Huertas. She's from Spain. First year playing organized basketball here in America. And the ball is stolen now as the pass from Groves. Everett takes it to the hole, gives her a little Euro step, and puts it right off the glass for two. Do not let her in the paint. She's dangerous. Number two, JC Roy kicking it to DeGrandle. DeGrandle now passes it to Nevaeh Cochran as Cochran is fouled as she goes to the line for two. Puertes gets the foul. The 
First shot is missed for Nevaeh, Cocker, and McKay. She gets one more here at the line. Score 47 to 22, Dragons still in the lead. And the shot is missed, but it is rebounded by Groves. Number 10, Taryn Brown takes a three and it's no good. Roy rebounds it, kicks it back to number 10. Brown, but the ball goes out of bounds after the miss. And Wishmeyer now will have the ball at the baseline. Try to inbound the ball, hoping that this press they've been learning to break all night. Wishmeyer now going to push the ball up. Kicks it to Ebert. Ebert to McCaffrey. Huertas in the middle looking for a first bucket. And the shot is no good. McCaffrey now intercepts the ball and passes it to Taylor Dinda. Taylor Dinda tries to go for a layup, but it's over the backboard and no good. Boy, does number 44 Carmen have that height advantage. Absolutely. Throws. It's got to be a big adjustment. Coach Bob Bridges says the biggest difference here in America, according to Carmen, is the defense philosophy of much harder, much harder play on defense. So number 14, DeGrandel tries to make a pass, but it goes out of bounds. So it'll be dragging basketball going the other way. McCaffrey going to pass it to Everett. Everett going to push it. Huertas tries to get the ball, juggles it, but she goes in and passes it to Denda. Denda to Wishmeyer, Wishmeyer to Huertas, but Huertas drops the ball, and it will be Groves basketball. DeGrandel now gonna bring the ball up for the Groves Falcons. She's guarded at half court by Taylor Denda. Gonna take the ball right, back to her left, through the legs, crosses it over. Now Roy will have the ball. She tries to make a pass, but it's intercepted again by Maddie Ebert. Wishmeyer, breakaway layup, shot fake, shot is blocked, but Dinda gets the ball, rebounded, and puts it in for two. About 30 seconds remain here in this third quarter. Number 10, Taryn Brown tries to make a pass, but it is out of bounds as it goes incomplete. Maddie Ebert passes it to Dinda, and patiently passing it back to her teammate Maddie Ebert. Ebert gonna hold the ball, she kicks it back to Dinda. Dinda to Huertas, shot fake, passes it to McCaffrey. And number 25, Jody McCaffrey makes the layup now for the Dragons. Roy gets the ball, kicking it back to Brown. Brown to 32 McKay, but there is no shot as that is the end of the third quarter. Score 51 to 22, and now we will take it down to our sideline reporter, Ryan Bunn. Thanks guys. This isn't the final team that these two teams face off against each other. In just over a month, in February 21st, these two teams face off again, but this time in Birmingham. We'll see if that Birmingham home crowd can help the Groves get a win to prevent the Dragons from getting the season sweep. Back to you guys for the fourth quarter. Thanks Ryan, I appreciate it. Yeah, this team right now, like Orion, showing their speed multiple times. They've shown strength, speed, accuracy from shooting. But the one thing that we have to say that I, we've seen now the Dragons struggle with a little bit, and we saw it against Stony Creek last week, was these full court presses we've seen now again against Groves. The Dragons struggling a little bit to get the ball inbounded against these presses. And Coach Broad Bridges said that it's something they continue to work on here in practice. Now, as we begin the fourth quarter, Uyghurs now with the ball. McGinnis now passes it to McCaffrey. Huertas now kicks it to Heck. Heck goes for a layup, and it's off the rim and no good. 
And now Sanders now going to push it. Use her speed as she goes behind the back. Goes to the hole. And the shot is no good, but she is fouled. And now Sanders will have two shots. Correction, though. There will be no shots. The foul is on the floor. So the Grove Stockings take the ball out of bounds. Sanders now gets the ball. McCaffrey playing defense tight here. Crossover shot, and it is good for number 11. Caitlin Sanders now for Groves. Groves continuing to press as Uyghurs brings the ball up, crosses it over, has to go through the middle, take a shot, and she is fouled. And Uyghurs will be at the line now for two shots. She'll be shooting two free throws, ladies and gentlemen. And it's good for one point now for the Dragons. Dragons lead 52 to 25 with a 27 point lead. Second free throw is good for Chloe Uyghurs. Dragons continuing to run a half court press with the big lead that they have. McGinnis now guards, and now Heck guards Sanders as she goes to the middle. But there will be a foul on the floor on the Dragons. On number 25, Jordan McCaffrey. The Groves ball out of bounds at the baseline. Sanders now tries to catch it, but the ball is stolen by Heck. Heck gives it to Uyghurs, passes it to McCaffrey. McCaffrey tries to make a pass back to Alana McGinnis. But ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Groves' ball. Sanders now keeping the ball low. She makes a crossover on Kylie Heck for three. And Sanders is no, but it's rebounded by Groves, and the shot is no good. Carmen now going to push the ball up the court for the Dragons as she passes it to Heck. And now McGinnis now with the ball, top of the key, tries to go through the middle as the ball is swatted out of her hand by Groves. And Groves last touched it, so that means it'll be Lake Orion ball. So it looks like Lake Orion will call a timeout here. DVD, DVD copies can be purchased by calling ONTV at 248-393-1060. For only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game, but any game or program in our broadcast vault. That's DVD copies, 248-393-1060. Thanks, Charlie. Hey, Lake Orion, you see the talent? Tonight, as they're producing very well on offense and defense, playing in the OAA, probably one of the best divisions in the state of Michigan. Showing that they are an elite team here in the state. Now Lake Orion will inbound it as Huertas gets the ball. She takes a shot, and it is good for the center, number 44, Carmen Huertas, with her first points of the evening. Now Roy will have the ball as it's stolen by Alana McGinnis, the junior. And now it is stolen again by Lake Orion's number 12, Chloe Uyghurs. Now Huertas gonna shoot a three and it's no good. But it's rebounded by Kylie Heck, but the rebound shot is no good. It will be a foul on the floor on Number 34, Kylie Heck. Number 11, Allison May. Number 21, Fontana Blackney will come in now for the Dragons. About six minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. 
Dragons with a 30 point lead. And now Sanders taking the ball up. She hits, gets a wham screen there from her teammate. And Sanders takes a mid range jumper. And it's no good as number 12. Weegers gets the ball. She pushes the ball up for the Dragons. Passes back to Huertas with a shot fake. Huertas goes in, takes a layup, and it's off the glass. The bank is open, and it is good for two. And now number two, Roy now with the ball. Passes it back to Little. Little takes a shot, and it's no good. Huertas now pushes the ball up using her speed. And she passes it to Uyghurs. Uyghurs to May. May with a shot fake. Goes back to her right. And she kicks it to Huertas for three. And Carmen Huertas showing off some serious range as she splashes it through the net for three for the Dragons. Now Sanders pushing the ball up for Groves. Taking a shot. It's no good. Now Sanders again for three. No good. McGinnis tries to get the ball. But she touches it last, and it will be Grove's ball. Carmen's showing a lot of aggression in this fourth period. Absolutely, showing off her skill. And we haven't seen a ton from Carmen this year, but this is a big game for her, definitely, as she has the most points she's ever had in any game tonight with the season-high points tonight. With seven points, by the way. And the ball is off the foot of Rocco as McGinnis takes it to the hole. But there will be it'll be blocked, but no foul. So clean block there for Groves. It'll be Lake Roman ball still, though. It's McGinnis looking to pass the ball into Huertas, but Huertas loses the ball, but she tries to steal it back. As both girls go to the ball there, Rocco and Huertas. Number 22, Ella Blank, passes it back to Rocco. Rocco to Brown. Brown trying to make a pass to DeGrando, but it is stolen by Allison May for the Dragons. McGinnis now going to push the ball. McGinnis passes it to Garcia. Garcia to Blackney. Blackney to Huertas. Huertas going to go for another score. And it's off. But the referee will say that the shot, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, does not count. The foul was before the shot, so it will not count. But it still will be Lake Orion basketball. At the baseline, it's McGinnis. Throws the ball in for the Dragons. Allison May can take the shot in as she shoots it over the defender for a floater. For Allison May's first two points of the night. Everyone's scoring tonight for the Dragons. They're all on fire. Now DeGrandle in trouble there. She passes it to Rocco. Rocco going to attack the hole. And she loses the ball, but it still will be Grove's ball. Rocco now for three as it hits the backboard and goes out of bounds. Now Allison May now going to give it to McGinnis. McGinnis going to push right by Rocco. She passes it to Fontana Blackney. This ball is swatted but recovered by Garcia. Garcia trying to make a pass to Allison May but goes out of bounds. And it will be Groves basketball. Number 33, Charlotte Peplowski is subbed in now for number 44, Carmen Huertas. Dragon bench now looking very proud as the Carmen comes off with a high of points this season, seven points this game. Is number 14. Lindsay DeGrandle sinks a two-point shot for the Falcons. Lepolsky crosses it over. And she makes a pass to Rocio Garcia. Garcia makes a pass to Fontana Blackney for three. 
and it's no good. Number 13, Therese Alexander gives it to DeGrandle, but the Grandel shot is no good. McGinnis pushing the ball. Gives you a little stutter step there. Rocio Garcia makes an amazing bounce pass to Allison May, but her layup is no good. But Pablowski with for three. Shot is no good, but he's rebounded by Lake Orion. Pablowski, second shot, no good. Alexander now going to push the ball down the court for the Falcons. She loses it, and McGinnis picks the ball up, trying to take it for a layup. And she is fouled, even though the layup is no good, so she will get two free throws with two minutes here left in the fourth quarter. Alana McGinnis, Jr., taking a shot. And it's good. Dragons lead 63 to 27. Second shot is good for McGinnis. And now Brown will bring the ball up. She makes a pass to Rocco. Rocco for three, and it's off the rim and no good. She tries to recover. It's too late as the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Lake Orion ball. Garcia passes it to Peplowski. It's the Dragons start off the drive here. As Peplowski passes it to McGinnis. McGinnis back to Peplowski. Trying to look for a shot, but there's nothing there. Blackney makes a shot fix. She passes it back to Peplowski. Double crossover for Peplowski. Passes it back to McGinnis. And she makes a shot fake. Goes in for a layup, but it's no good. This is rebounded by Groves and Alexander. Heaves the ball half court to DeGrandle. DeGrandle takes a passes it back. So Brown is Brown takes a shot. And it's no good, but the ball will go out of bounds, and it still will be Groves' ball. Grandel passing the ball in. As Alexander has it. Alexander trying to kick the ball back to the Grandel, but the ball will go out of bounds, and it'll be Lake Orion ball. About a minute left to go in this game. And now Peplowski with a crossover. She kicks it to Fontana Blackney. Peplowski trying to make a pivot back to May for three. And the shot is no good for Allison May. Blackney trying to make a pass to Rocio Garcia. But it's pass goes out of bounds. Rocio Garcia, another student now from Lake Orion from Spain. Trying to make the same adjustment as Carmen playing basketball here in America. Now DeGrandle guarded by May. DeGrandle trying to take the ball to her right, but it is off of the foot of Allison May, so it still will remain Groves basketball. Rocco at the top of the key trying to take a three, but it's blocked by McGinnis. Now Peplowski makes a pass to McGinnis. McGinnis to Blackney. Making a shot, Fontana Blackman for two. Great passing on Ello's part. Absolutely, they've made some wicked passes, finding the windows and making good passes. That's what you want to see. Alexander back to Brown. Brown makes a pass to Rocco. Brown for three, no good off the bat, off of the rim. The foul will be on the floor. Number on number 11, Allison May, as now the Groves Falcons will shoot one and one free throws. And it's good. Second free throw now for Brown. And it's good. 
as May takes the shot as time ticks down here in the fourth quarter. Lepowski gonna hold the ball. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for tonight's game between the Groves Falcons and the Lake Orion Dragons. Final score, 66 to 29. Very hard fought game for both teams, but the Dragons pull away with the victory. And that is it for tonight as I am your play-by-play -play commentator, Tyler Ratliff, joined by my color commentator, Charlie Whitaker. And that is it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good evening.